So, here we go then. Paris Saint-Germain against Toulouse. I'm John Champion, and providing match analysis throughout the game, Jim Begley. Hi, John. I can tell you, I'm absolutely delighted to be here. Aguiar. He's being hassled and harried here. Well, he was given the time and room initially to hold on to the ball, but eventually he was squeezed that bit harder and the task became too much. I think he's got to be a little quicker in his distribution then and, and get others into the match. This goes for a throw-in. Plays it long. He's free through the middle. Big goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. That would have to go down as one of the sweetest strikes I think I've ever seen. Oh, the contact was fantastic. Right on the bootlaces and it packed a lot of venom for what was a really potent strike. They've got off to a very good start. Paris Saint-Germain scoring in the first ten minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Aguiar. Defending in numbers here. Moving forwards. It's Lucas Moura. Lucas Moura staring straight. He scores! Two goals to the good and they're set fair. How about that? So, it's now two without reply. Well, at 1-0, this game was very much in the balance, but at 2-0, they ought to be able to defend this lead from here. And the cross cleared away. It's a good hit! They have it again! There it is! They lead by three, and that may just about be that. The keeper just didn't deal with it, and his team has paid the price. Well, listen, last line of defence, and you don't get it right, then you're paying a visit to your net. So, it's 3-0 now. He plays it through, the ball goes through, onside, Lucas Moura, they get it forward, through it goes, Lucas Moura, Lucas Moura, here's a shot, and they can have another go, not on this occasion. Well, he knew exactly what he wanted to do before the ball even arrived, and that made the chance far easier, he read it before and defender. We all know what he can do. Well, he's certainly a player I'd be more than happy to watch. Tactically, he's almost impossible to stop. Marquinhos is there, and he'll take the ball. And suddenly, the defence is on the back foot. 
too high. That was a very decent shot from distance. You know, a little less strength, and it might have just dipped under the bar. Good effort, though. You'd really expect a player of his quality to score there. Yeah, he's definitely a player who looks like he can make something happen every time he's on the ball. He's just full of belief and energy. Aguiar. into space it goes he's onside that looked a foul and the referee's given it went over the line Ibrahimovic no that's not going to make it through And with that, the referee brings the first half to a close. A three-goal difference between the two sides here. So away we go then for the second half. Be it. Tries to slide it past the defence. Defence does its job. This looks promising for Toulouse. And a much needed intervention that was too. Can I be it? And he's made sure that's not getting through. Important interception, things were starting to look dangerous. Can I be it? Real pressure from the opposition there. Approaching the hour mark in this game. Paris Saint-Germain still not utilising their bench. That is off target. Look, we know they're behind and need something, but I just wonder whether they're getting a touch anxious with shooting from that kind of distance. Story. He goes alone. Pastore. It's an opportunity. Oh, that should have been there for. Well, he's in such a great position in front of the goal, and you'd expect him to score from there, but somehow he's missed it. Pastore will drive this corner in. A header, another goal. They're clearly in no mood just to sit on their lead. He offers such presence from set pieces. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Surely they're well and truly out of sight now.
He plays it through. A shot. Another one. So fiercely was that hit, it nearly removed the net from its rigging. Yeah, I just thought he made great use of his upper body there. It would have taken something really special to keep that out. What a way to complete a hat-trick. Well, he's been the outstanding player on the pitch and devastating in front of the goal. What a display, what a player. They have this game in their hands now. It's Fabio Coentrao. It's a corner. So, here comes the corner. On his own, a chance. Away from the danger area now. Surely a goal. Lucas Moura, opportunity for a goal. Pastore. 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 Can he now find a finish? He got a good hold of that. Well, he caught that one right on the meat. Cracking effort. He was close to adding to his tally there. Oh, he's just a nightmare for any defence. His movement, his pace, his anticipation. It's on another level. It's so hard for any defence to contain that. A shot here. Well, that was a really open one for the goalkeeper to deal with. It's been launched forward. Full time whistle within sight. And the referee awards a free kick. And he's there to clear it. The ball played into the box, but met by no one in the end. Good through ball. He's on his way. Just the keeper in his way. And that's going to go a long way. He struck that really cleanly. Marquinhos picks the ball up straight from a goal kick. Cabani. Going forward with purpose, that had real venom to it. Oh, he's won it back straight from the goal kick. is over we've seen some fantastic finishing from this team with real attacking class throughout their opponents didn't stand a chance well some matches you just don't want to end and that was one of them for me you couldn't predict what was going to happen next what was going to happen next